It won't be many years before people driving gasoline powered vehicles will be the ones truly experiencing range anxiety. Why? Gasoline stations are going to close en masse within a very short period of time. And what's going to happen is, even before that happens, electric vehicles will have more range than gas powered vehicles. Right now, it is a big struggle to get enough range. Well, enough range when towing or carrying a heavy load in a pickup truck or a big vehicle. The Hummer EV has an enormous battery pack. Its range is okay, but it's still not all that great. But within only a few years, that will completely change. In fact, pickup truck range is set to increase enormously, making gasoline powered pickup trucks and gasoline powered large vehicles obsolete faster than anyone actually realizes. Zika just pointed out something that no one else is really talking about, but we should be. We should be. It's not going to be long now. In fact, only a matter of months before many electric cars have more range than their gasoline counterparts. In fact, within the next 24 months, this is actually going to become far more common than anyone realizes. Here's why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Hope you've had an awesome day and an awesome week. This is the kind of stuff that I love. I've done a bit of research on this to find out if this story is true. Actually, it is. Right now, Zika are making a new electric van, or as they call them in China, an MPV a little bit like the Kia Carnival. In fact, Zika's new MPV or van is actually bigger than the Kia Carnival. Its interior space is significantly bigger. The external dimensions, it's around about 5% bigger. It's actually true. The Zika 009 does what Zika claims. Well, in theory, it does anyway. So Zika is saying that its new van or its new MPV will give more range than any other van on sale in China right now. In fact, not any other van. They said 99%. So maybe there's a single model somewhere along the range where that van has more range than this does, but everything else has less. Now I want to point out for you guys, in China, diesel's not a very popular fuel source. And right now, diesel is massively losing market share around the world because it's now being taxed at a higher rate. It's a much bigger pollutant. Obviously, we now know it causes cancer. And the reality is that the cost of diesel fuel right now, in fact, in almost all countries around the world, has substantially increased over the past 12 months to the point where it's sort of economically unviable for a lot of people now. Anyway, whether you agree with that or not, doesn't really matter. The key point is here that the new Zika 009 does have more range than almost basically every other MPV and van in China. The new version will have 822 kilometers of range which is massive. I mean, even if you say, well, it's a CLTC figure, you're still gonna get close to 700 kilometers of range. The thing is, right, this is a big vehicle and shaped like a brick. So it's not really efficient aerodynamically, but, but new battery packs and new battery technology, they are the reason, the key reason why, not long from now, electric cars will very commonly have significantly more range than gasoline powered cars. Why do I say this? Because the batteries in these cars, in fact, the batteries coming to all new Zika vehicles will be from CATL. And CATL, well, they own the majority of the global battery market. Well, okay, it's not fair to say the majority. They own 37% of the entire global battery market, making them by far the world's biggest battery company. In fact, they are more than twice the size of anyone else, and they have just brought this new battery technology out. In fact, Tesla will be using this new battery technology, cell to pack technology. Basically, CATL said, um, yeah, Tesla, you're right. Structural battery packs are better. They make sense. They went and made their own structural battery packs, but they actually did a few things to those packs. These new chill-in batteries are incredibly energy dense in comparison to old battery technology. It's getting better and better every single year. So what are we talking about? How energy dense are these battery packs? 
Well, they now have 255 watts per kilo. That's about a 20% improvement on the old packs. It's a 50% improvement on thermal efficiency. The packs are now lighter because they're structural battery packs. It means the entire car can be lighter as well. And they have 72% system integration efficiency. CATL says you can charge these packs in 10 minutes to get from 10 to 80% state of charge. And they also say that in many cars, you'll be able to easily achieve a thousand kilometers of range using this new battery pack technology. Now, obviously this is a big van. However, the battery pack in this van with 822 kilometers of range, it's a big battery pack. It's a 140 kilowatt hour pack, but Zika are actually gonna put in the 116 kilowatt hour battery pack version into the 001, which is their, it's kind of like their Tesla Model Y competitor but it's a pretty big car. It's a little bit longer than a Tesla Model Y. They say that 116 kilowatt hour battery pack will give the new Zika just coming out in the first quarter of 2023, 1000 kilometers of range. Meaning it'll have a longer range than about 90% of gasoline powered vehicles. In fact, probably 95% of gasoline powered vehicles on sale today. Guess what? CATL are going to basically rejig their current battery production lines. Instead of using the old technology, most of CATL's battery production will be the new battery technology. Now they do have two different types of batteries. They've got the lithium ternary batteries, which are the ones we're talking about here. They've also got M3P batteries, which are essentially their cell to pack technology, structural battery packs using lithium ion phosphate battery cells. Now those cells also have increased in their energy density by close to 20%. Pack efficiency has massively increased. Pack weights have gone down. What this means is you're going to see much longer range in Tesla's base model vehicles, which use CATL batteries. And there's a good chance that we will actually see the new 800 kilometer range Tesla vehicle. Now, there's been some, some talk this year about that vehicle. People in China have been sort of talking about it, whispering about this new Tesla vehicle that's going to have 800 kilometers of range. Clearly, it's gonna have one of these new battery packs from CATL, bigger battery pack. When is it gonna come out? I don't know. I don't even know if it's true to be honest with you, but I do know for a fact that if Tesla puts in this new cheer-in battery into its Model 3, this 116 kilowatt hour pack, now I don't know if it can even fit, but the reality is they're much denser in terms of their cell volumization. So the reality is the size of the pack maybe could fit. But either way, even if they went up to say a 90 kilowatt hour pack in the new Tesla Model 3 or in the current Tesla Model 3, yeah, you'd be looking at close to a thousand kilometers of range considering the weight and the OECD of that car. It's obviously a very aero car. Even if they put the standard range battery pack in there, which is currently about a 67 kilowatt hour pack, even if that just had 20% more energy density and it was 10% lighter, you'd be looking at a range of close to 700 kilometers for the standard range Tesla Model 3. That would mean that the most affordable Tesla Model 3 would have more range than about 80% of gasoline powered cars on the road. Now, obviously Tesla isn't the only company using CATL batteries, but they are of course CATL's biggest customer by far, it's not even close. And CATL did just build the factory about three kilometers from Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai specifically for Tesla, which will produce 70 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. That's that's literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of cars of batteries per year. That said, many other manufacturers like Zika use CATL battery packs as well. So these benefits, they won't be exclusive to Tesla. Now we do know that Zika and Tesla will be capable of using CATL's structural battery packs in their cars. So that'll provide another benefit. Why? That'll reduce the weight of the vehicles at the same time as improving the energy density. My friends, within the next couple of years, it will be extremely common that electric vehicles will have significantly more range than gasoline powered ones. At the same time, countries and businesses all over the world are installing fast chargers rapidly. They're being built en masse all over the world. So, What's gonna happen is range anxiety will be completely eliminated because more charges, much more range from higher energy density batteries and lighter cars. Basically, gasoline powered cars are gonna look more and more obsolete, more and more old, more and more like the dinosaur technology that they actually are. What's gonna happen? 
pickup trucks within the next few years will have significantly more range than gasoline powered pickup trucks. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna predict gasoline powered pickup trucks will be dead by 2030. So this whole idea that Ford thinks it's gonna keep on selling pickup trucks en masse after 2030 that are powered by gas, that isn't gonna happen. If they don't change, well, they'll simply lose sales. Because by the time 2030 comes around, pickup trucks will regularly have a thousand kilometers of EV range. So you'd have to be literally brain dead to buy a gasoline powered version. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.